Hey, this is Gordon, and this is day 15 of the Valhalla Project Homestead Marathon exercise. Today I thought we'd talk just a, a little bit about our uh, Valhalla's dogs. Little Australian Shepherd uh, Border Collie mix that you see here, Valkyrie, is uh, our youngest. She's uh, going on two. Uh, still quite a puppy, but uh, she's going to be a herd dog by instinct, uh, and once we get her trained, She'll be able to take care of the sheep flock, the goats, uh, even some of the poultry. But right now, she's uh, a little too rambunctious to play with any of these guys because she tends to chase. And the, uh, the poor chickens and ducks and turkeys, if they get in her way, usually get rolled over. Uh, she doesn't mean to hurt them, but sometimes she does. But uh, she's our future herd dog here. <laughs> This is Sadie. Sadie's our uh, peer piece, and she's an older dog. Uh, Sadie was. Uh, was a livestock protection dog and was donated to us by uh, one of the soldiers and his wife that uh, we were with downrange in Afghanistan out at uh, Cop Chimkani. Uh, before we got Sadie, we were losing an extraordinary amount of birds to predators, primarily raccoon, coyote, and uh, possum. But Sadie is primarily nocturnal. She works at night. She patrols all around the area here and uh, really has, since she's been here, has reduced our uh, predation problems almost to zero. With that said, and as friendly as she is and as uh, easygoing and everything else, we had a tough time introducing her to Valkyrie because uh, her instinct and that of, of almost all livestock guardian dogs is to go after any strange canine. And it makes sense when you think about it. What are canines? Coyotes, wolves, this sort of thing? Yes. And so uh, it took a long time, I'd say close to six months, before we could trust Valkyrie out with her uh, off the leash. And uh, this is, you know, it's, it's perfectly natural for these dogs. It's what they're supposed to be doing. So uh, we don't criticize her for it, but we just had to uh, integrate the two of them very carefully. Uh, today they, uh, they play around quite nicely and are uh, fun to have, but the fact remains that Sadie's job is still livestock protection. That's number one, and that's what she does, and she does it well. This is Inga, our Akbosh uh, livestock guardian dog. Uh, the Akbash are a breed that uh, originated in the Middle East, primarily in Turkey, and were designed to protect flocks of sheep and goats. She's in with the goats right now, but uh, she was raised to bond with uh, St. Croix sheep, of which we have. And when the lambs get a little bigger, we'll integrate her into that herd. Uh, Inga is, uh, has minimal socialization. She's a very friendly dog. These kind of dogs would probably be excellent pets, but we intentionally don't socialize her any more than we have to where we can touch her and uh, where she's not hostile to us. But we discourage uh, when Valhallans come here having any uh, undue friendly relationship with her, not because she's dangerous to people, but because we don't want her to uh, break that bond with the livestock, which is so important. We had a, a bobcat attack here last year on one of our uh, young ewes tore her shoulder up real bad, and I think the only thing that really saved the, the sheep was uh, Inga coming to the rescue and chasing the bobcat off before it had time to finish her. I know a lot of you have been exposed to uh, military working dogs, as have we, and uh, they're a, a great bunch of animals. Primarily what you'll see, though, is that they're divided into scout attack dogs and special search dogs, SSDs. Uh, in a way, you can almost interpret what we have here in those terms. Imagine that Inga and Sadie are more like uh, scout attack dogs and Valkyrie is more like a specialized dog. Uh, she's not designed to attack anything, in fact quite the contrary. 
she's designed to, to herd, which involves threatening, but not really injuring the animals. Uh, Inga and Sadie, on the other hand, are designed not to injure the livestock, but to be lethal when they're going after the enemy, which in this case are, are our predators, and which we, as you're aware, we have a full range here. Okay, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for day 15 of the Valhalla Project uh, Homestead Marathon exercise. Be sure and stay tuned. And remember, uh, Reconnect 3, it's very important. Uh, you, you know, we all hear about how lonely vets are, how the sense of isolation. This is your chance to break that with that, that sense of isolation with at least three people and encourage them to do the same with three more. Immediately, you started a chain of events that could have extraordinarily positive results. You're taking action, you're doing something positive, you're helping your buddies, and you're going to help yourself. So we'll see you tomorrow for day 16.